Mount Austin Navigator, Mount Stark from Hawaii to Tahiti using traditional methods. In early 1976, Mount man led an expedition in which he sent a traditional Polynesian port across 2,500 miles up Austin from Hawaii to Tahiti. The Polynesian Vietnamese Society had uh, organized the expedition. Its purpose was to find out if seafarers in the distant past could have found their way from one island to the other without navigational instruments, or whether the islands had been populated by accident. At the time, Mao was the only man alive who knew how to navigate just by observing the stars, the wind, and the sea. He had never before sailed to Tahiti, which was a long way to the south. However, he understood how the wind and the sea behave around Iceland, so he was confident he could find his way. The voyage took him and his crew a month to come back, and he did it without a compass or trust. His grandfather began the task of teaching him how to navigate when he was still a baby. He taught him pour up water on the pitch to teach him how the behavior of the way and the and wind trend in different places. Later, Mao used a cycle of stars to memorize the position of the stars. Each stone was laid down in the sand to represent a star. The voyage proves that Hawaii first inhabitants came in small parts and navigate, but by reading the sea and the stars, Mao himself became a keen teacher, passing on his traditional secrets to people of other cultures so that his knowledge would not be lost. He explained the position of the stars to his students, but he allowed them to write things down because he knew they would never be able to remember everything as he had done.